Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you the brand new Cherry Blossom Spring Lightroom Workflow Collection from Sleek Lens, all about bringing the spring back into your photos. So in this video I'm going to kind of demo a couple different photos, a couple different looks that you can apply to your photos to really bring out all of the nice colors and tones and textures in your photo. So let's start with this one right here. Uh, it's already a great photo. It's, it's really, really nice. The composition's there. You got cool foreground elements. You got a really nice background element. And we're just going to enhance it a little bit. So as you can see over here in my presets, I have the Spring Lightroom Workflow Collection here. And uh, I'm going to choose one of the all-in-ones. This is kind of a one-click fix to, to show how you can easily change how a photo looks with just one click. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose the uh, all-in-one blooming preset here. So I'm going to click there and as you can see it just really enhances the reds here in the foreground. Gives a little bit of that orange and a little bit of that blue back there in the sky. It looks really really great. Uh, but then we're going to take the temperature of it because we want to kind of warm it up just a, just a touch. And we're going to actually do this manually. So I'm just going to take the uh, temperature over here and I'm going to bump it up to right around 6500 for this particular image. So roughly around there and as you can see it just adds that warmth back in the mountains there. It looks really cool. And the last thing I'm going to do is just kind of like a cleanup is the sharpening. I'm just going to press sharpen to and now the whole photo is tack sharp. Looks really really nice. Still has those warm tones and looks really really great. So here is the before and after. You can see it's a night and day difference. It looks really awesome. I definitely would like to have something like this as a, a background on, 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 uh, on my computer or some sort of uh, print on the wall. It looks really 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 awesome. So now that we have that photo edited, let's go to another one here. And this one's a little bit different uh, in, in kind of showing you the, the many scenarios that you can play with these photos with. So again, I'm going to start with an all-in-one. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose the all-in-one. Uh, I'm going to go to Blissful. And what that's going to do is add a little bit of the cool, uh, cool shadow detail. It's going to uh, cool down the shadows there. Uh, it does make the photo a little bit dark, but we can actually correct that. Uh, but it really creates that cool shadow detail. It looks really nice. It kind of gives that hipster tone to it as well. So now I'm going to go down to the number one base section, and I'm going to choose the auto tone here. And right there, just going to add a little bit of that uh, that br brightness back, especially in the foreground here. Makes the model stand out real nice. I honestly would be okay stopping here for this. You can see I, I was able to create a really awesome photo, just a couple clicks, uh, and I, I would be okay stopping here. But let's see what we can do further here. So I'm going to go down to the exposure section, and I'm going to choose the saturation. Uh, let's do saturation plus one. I'm just going to bring out a little bit more colors there. I'm going to go down to the effects again. I'm going to do another sharpening there. And overall, that kind of starts to be exactly where I want it. But I am going to warm up the shadows just a little bit more uh, instead of just keeping it there. So I'm going to go down to warm shadows. And there we go. Looks really, really cool. Uh, I could actually do a manual adjustment here. I'm actually going to add a little bit of a magenta tint to the photo manually, just bumping that over until I see what I like there. And there we go. That's that's the finished edit. Really love the edit. Really loved all the tones and the colors. And of course, you can take this millions of different ways. Uh, but this is the photo edit we have here, and you can see the before and after. Really awesome before and after. Shows it quick quickly how you can add uh, just a couple little clicks, a couple little presets to your photos, and it instantly turns your photos into awesome, awesome spring photos. So guys, if you want to learn more about this new Lightroom workflow called Cherry Blossom, head on over to sleeklens.com, link in the description down below. You can check out more information there. This has been Jordan from Sleeklens, and I'll see you in the next video.